this morning. Thank you for allowing us to be here. We take the steering wheel of a vehicle. We're not the best driver in the world, but with your presence alongside of us, you allow us to be here in your house. The same way you protected and guided us to be here this morning, those one day way to be here, you were given the same protection you gave us. The service from the beginning to the end belong to you. And everybody who's in this stage or in this place right now, Father God, we ask you to heal them if they feel feeling any type of way, to help them if they're suffering from any pain. Anything they got going on that's not glorifying you, Father, I ask you to remove them in the name of Jesus at this moment. We ask you to continue to bless this service. And tonight is our revival kickoff. From this morning, God, we ask you for your presence remain in us throughout the whole week. Not only that, but for eternity. Father God, I'm asking you to present yourself to those who don't believe in you and to keep reminding those who believe in you to not give up, to continue to have faith until the return. In the name of Jesus, church, say amen. to have, and I have been boosting to the church in Macronomia 
that you and Greece were ready to send the offering a year ago. In fact, it is your enthusiasm that sure up many of the Macedonian believers to begin the giving. But I am sending those brothers to you. Sure you are ready, as I have been telling them, and that your money is all collected. I don't want to be wrong in my boosting about you. We will be embarrassed, not to mention your own embarrassment. If some Macedonians believe believers came with me and found that you wasn't ready after all I have told them, so I have thought I should send these brothers ahead of me to make sure that the gift you promise is ready. But I am. I want to be willing to give, not one giving grudgingly. Remember this: a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants gradually will get a grist amount. You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly and in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scripture said, they share a friendly and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. For God is the one who provides seeds for the farmers and their bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase their resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you'll be enriched in every way that, so that she will always be generous. And when you take your gift to those who need them, they will thank God.